Hi, this is Igor. I will show you how to use PG Admin 4 database administration tool to restore a Resolve Postgres database. If you don't have it, it's easy to install or perhaps Resolve already put it on your system depending on which version of Postgres you have. Open up the servers list. This is our Resolve Postgres server. And these are the databases on that server. If this is the first time you're running PG Admin 4, you will not have the server in this drop-down list so what you have to do is click on the servers up there and say add new server fill in this information which you can get from your resolve or your resolve manual here we have a database dump that will restore into our server in order to do that we have to create a database first a brand new database and the name of this database has to be unique so we will right click on the server and say create database I will call this database restored and on the definition tab make sure that the encoding is UTF-8. Now we can save that and a database called restored has appeared under our server. Now we're going to restore our dump into this database called restored. Right click, pick restore, navigate to your dump file. The number of jobs is going to determine how many concurrent processes will run because the restoring can take quite some time and there's no magic number really uh, you can read up on it online I am going to use 12 hoping that's not too many jobs select restore now this process may take some time really all depends on the size of your database expect anything from a couple of minutes to 20 30 minutes or more really depends on the size now in Resolve's project manager we have to connect to the database. Click on new database, Postgres. Make sure you're connecting, not creating a new database. The name is restored, that's the name we gave it. Location is the IP address of the Postgres server. Username is uh, Postgres, uh, the password is whatever password you have set. DaVinci is the default user password. And that is our restored database. Hey, in case you didn't know, I've been making apps for Resolve, and you can find out more about that at metafide.com.